Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next video on the Practical Weapons channel. Today is a brace update. I had uh, braces on two AR-15 pistols since the SIG has created the original ones. As you can imagine, this has been a while. And finally have gotten to replacing them with a more modern, non-proprietary buffer tube length of pull regulatable or ad adjustable braces and considering i already have a number of braces on different ar pistols and non-ar pistols decided to get something else so on my favorite what i call the uh, defense ar pistol seekings <laughs> radical firearms i had the original sick brace you probably have seen this pistol in my other videos. Now this thing has SB Tactical SBA4. Adjustable. And it is possible to make it very short. Other advantages are of course a little bit more comfort. Thinner profile. QD sling mounts. I did mention it's adjustable and overall creates for a very different feeling. I haven't tried it yet, this was just done today, but we'll see how it feels at the range and it will provide more update at that point. Admittedly this is a much thinner profile and it is a not, a not an SBA3, this is an SBA4 so it, it has that extra plane at the back or at the bottom diagonal that SBA3 does not. So we'll see whether this is useful or not. Admittedly, it does get in the way a little if you get your hand back here for some reason. But why would you put your hand there instead of the pistol grip? I do not know. So this was upgrade number one and this is upgrade number two. This is my old Adams Arms slash Grizzly lower, by the way, still registered as a pistol, 11.5 inch gun. Had also been configured with an original SIG brace and proprietary buffer tube. I think it was a cap tube. I cannot guarantee what it was. This was upgraded today to Gearhead Works, which by the way are located in Tampa, so they're my neighbors. Almost. And this is a tail hook mod 2. It is an adjustable brace. And you can actually press this button here. Again, it's brand new, so it's still a little stiff. It has the brace open button. You have to be careful to not catch yourself on the sharp polymer end, but it is very comfortable for a single hand use, even on a heavy AR-15 pistol like this. It might need to be adjusted for more comfort, such as this for example. And then you might be able to actually use it on a single hand. And I have shoulder issues. So this is actually perfect for me, shoulder and forearm, I have a pinched nerve that I'm going to get fixed soon, hopefully. This is my first Gearhead Works brace. I have actually talked to the guys over there and they have a new version. They have a Tailhook Mod 2C compact if you want a shorter, even shorter brace. Admittedly, these are more expensive than SB Tactical braces, but they're not, they're not rubber. And what fell was one of my other AR-15 magazines. I'm right now evaluating the AK Industries Surefeed Max 
Sure, feed E2, I think is the model. So that's what it was on the side. So this is going to be an optics host, OPVO, to allow to get maximum utilization of the barrel length. And of course, some other upgrades are going to happen, but we'll see that in the future. Part of the reason why I wanted a sturdier brace is specifically to support more precise shots using optics at possibly longer ranges. So this is this brace. As I said, it is the adjustable tail hook mod 2. It is a proprietary buffer tube, unlike the SB Tactical ones, but it comes with one and I have absolutely no problem with this approach as of now. You need to test it, you need to try it and see what happens. That's a quick update, hopefully a little bit interesting to you, or for you, or with you. And whatever else, I can come up with a Russian accent. See you in the next video, and keep practicing.